Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today here we will mention a Chinese and historical fam known as Nagia Spoilers. Chaos begins with an entity called the Pearl. It is a form that was born from ancient gems. The two brothers are called Tai and Shen Gongbao. The Chaos Pearl was sent by their master, Tan Zand, to subdue it. Due to Chaos Pearl's ability to absorb energy, Tai and Shen cannot defeat it. No matter how hard they try they eventually capture Tanzan. Chaos Pearls and then separates the pearls into two opposing halves. Spirit Pearl and Demon Bullet Chun's own then curses the Demon Bullet so that a powerful lightning bolt will strike and destroy it. Within three years, Tans unchose Tai over Shen. Take the Spirit Pearl to be reincarnated as Li Jing's third son and be named Naja Shen who conspired to steal the Devil Orb and the Spirit Pearl. He placed a slave seal on one of Li Jing's servants to steal both parts of Tai. A careless demonic orb causes Li Jing's pregnant wife, Lady Yin, to give birth to a baby boy instead of consuming the child at the ritual altar. With her demonic nature evident, Tai tells them that in three years Naja's fate will be cursed by the gods. Placing it on a demonic orb will kill it regardless of being used with the power of the demonic orb. When he escapes Tai's protection, Naja is like a child completely out of control. Until Tai placed a ring saw around his neck limiting his powers and keeping him on par with a toddler. But despite his size, Naisa is much stronger than the average human, and the citizens of the city were initially against allowing Naisa to live in the village. But Lord Li Jing begged the townspeople and Naisa promised that Naisa would never set foot in the village and cause trouble. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Shen stole the spirit pearl for the Dragon King to be reincarnated as his son. Confined to a hellish existence on the ocean floor, they hope that the dragon race will be deemed worthy of heaven through the blessed nature of the sun born from the soul pearl, and would eventually allow the dragons to ascend to the dragon king and enable Shin to take over as Ao Bing. A student and in the meantime cultivating his skills, Lord Li Jing along with Tai then went to seek an audience in the sky to speak with Master Yuan so that he could close the divine Croat. Say on his son but a disciple of the Master you made sure he tells them that the curse is unbreakable and there is no way to talk to you. And sure enough, Tai Ap then reassured that there might still be a way to break the curse to overcome Nija's evil nature. His parents stopped him from going out of the house when he wanted to have fun. And they refused to even play with him because they have other responsibilities. Nija was getting bored and worried. He escapes from prison and misbehaves only to play with the villagers, which the villagers misbehave with. Fearing him, everyone started calling him Satan. Due to this act, Nisa is locked in her room by her parents. He is very worried because everyone sees him as a devil. Both of Nisa's parents were now forced to lie to make it up. Delighted to tell him that, he was born from a spirit pearl and destined to become a great demon hunter. Tai agrees and takes it upon himself to mold Spear into a warrior of justice and accept him as his follower. Nisa persuades him to study under Tai and acquire a mastery that even his master Tai took some time to master. Nisa eventually considers impatience to be a waste of time as people still treat him indifferently and passionate nature escapes its imprisonment to hunt demons. Only to prove that he is not as scary as they think he eventually finds himself chasing the water demon through the village destroying a fishing village along the way. Believing that if people see him protecting them, maybe the villagers will accept him for who he is. The water demon continued to burn more houses. Eventually, a girl is kidnapped by a water demon. Finally, Al Bang takes his form and comes to fight the water demon, but is ultimately defeated. Naja cleverly controls the water, saves both Satan and Al Bing and a little girl. 
Naiza hated Albang at first, but she did not expect to meet her first and only friend B. Oath played for a while until the townspeople came with paddles and forks. The townspeople accused Naja of kidnapping the little girl and burning the village. Wounded one and luckily Ty arrived. Stop Naja from causing more trouble. Meanwhile in the deep water where the dragons live, Il Bing finally arrives and respects the dragon king and Shin, telling him how he has progressed and met a friend. Only to find that only friend was to become his swan diabolical rival. Gully Albing begged Naja to be released. But in ancient times, the Dragon King interrupted. Dragons were powerful creatures revered and worshipped by the heavens. They fought monsters and subjugated them in the seas and were given the title of Dragon Kings. The Dragon had told Albing that this place was once the Dragon's palace. But the prison gods used the dragons to do their dirty work for him and convince him that the spirit, Pearl is the only way for him to gain freedom in the village. Organized in which the nervous city was invited to participate in Nija. Asking Al Bang why he is her only friend? Unknown to her, Shane secretly visits before the party. Which suggests that he is troubled in the dark about the truth of his nature. Nisa still went to the party, ignoring the crowd. On his way to his parents with gifts from his master, he angrily confided to his parents that he knew all about the lie he was being kept on. He misunderstood. All her parents cared about was whether their reputation was ruined by the ring on Nija's neck. And his true evil form was to harm the people of Nija city. When her father stops her, Tyre joins in to prevent Naja from hurting anyone that they never knew that Shane secretly hid the ring from everyone. Watching from afar as he waits for Naja to wreak havoc, Shane plans to wait until lightning strikes on his third birthday, when he wants Albing to reveal himself as a hero who saved by the village of Nasa Albang, belonging to Satan, could not stand to see his only friend kill his parents. He begged Shin that if he could at least save his family and his master, the debt was being paid. The spear is still in place when Nexa saved her life once. He was about to set fire to his head with the tip of a spear against his father. When Tai saves his father using his brush, Naja turns his ribbon to fight Tai. The fight leaves his father helpless. His mothers tried to stop him only to be pushed away. Naja was about to deliver a fatal blow when a force blocked his spear. It was fortunately able to capture Albang Naja Tai. Then hastily cast a spell on the ring to finally return it to normal. She finally got up, surrounded by people, and left without saying a word. Li Jing already suspected Albang's true identity and had to stage a scene to expose him as the spirit pearl's bearer. Shen told Albang that if his betrayal was revealed at Tanzan, then not only would he be punished, but all dragon kind would be condemned forever. Albang did not want to betray his oath. He decided to bury the town alive under a huge sheet of ice. So there is no witness during this time. Far from the village, it is learned that during his journey to paradise his father discovered a spell that would allow him to trade his life for impurity and even wanted to keep it a secret from his wife, her father's sacrifice. Devastated, Naja wept and decided to return. Al was able to get to the village to stop being in time before Ao Bing turned his parents into ice. A battle ensues with fire versus ice old Bing telling him that his powers will be limited as long as he has the ring. Stubborn to his neck, Naja refuses to give up, saying that he will kill Ao Bing with or without the ring and uses secret tricks he learned from his teacher, Tai. He disguises his shen inside the mist to fool Lao Bing, meanwhile another battle is going on in the mist. His masters were Tizenren and Shen Gong Bao Shen. When Tai tried to run away, Shane tried to chase after him. When he bumped into a doppelganger, 
It was disguised as Major and he took the opportunity to switch his weapons to attack Al Bang to confuse him. The four continue to fight until his master realizes he has been played until Lao Bing, along with Major's parents, decide to finish him off by covering the entire village with snow. Done, Nizer realized that he would not be able to beat him with secret tricks. As time sheds his full demonic form, Nigger runs across the falling sheet of ice, with Al Bing insisting on telling Nigger to stop struggling and accept his destiny as a demon. I am the boss if I decide my own destiny and I will not be a devil. Nature replied. Summoning all of his nature a large ball of fire and vaporizing a large sheet of ice, defeating the spear, the Albang spear called for his life, his only friend, as the lightning approached, Nature surrendered to his fate. He sealed his parents to stop them from trying to stop his curse and told them it was his fight. Although he did not have fun for three years, this remained his only regret. Had he never played with his father he knelt down in Cowtown to thank his parents and say goodbye. While lightning was about to take him away. As lightning rained down on the spear, he was unexpectedly joined by Ao Bing. He wanted to protect Nijer. The friends join hands as, they unleash the power of a chaos pearl that has the ability to absorb energy. They continue to absorb divine curses until their mortal bodies contain the energy of the strike. Fortunately, the townspeople kneel before Albang and Nijer in respect, determined to take the lotus to keep Tiawa's soul safe in his soul. Thanks for watching.